Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the Fourier series of period 2 pi in the interval 0, 2 pi for the given function f of x which is 1 by 2 into pi minus x. Now let's write the Fourier series formula that is f of x equal to a0 by 2 plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity am cos nx plus sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity bn sin nx. As a first part, let's find a naught. The formula is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x dx. So this becomes 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi and f of x is 1 by 2 into pi minus x dx and this 1 by 2 is a constant which we can take outside. So this becomes 1 by 2 pi and integration of pi which is pi x and integration of x is x square by 2 and we have to substitute the limit. The lower limit is 0 and the upper limit is 2 pi. When I substitute the upper limit 2 pi, so the first term is pi into 2 pi minus 2 pi whole square by 2. When I put the lower limit everything is 0. So we have only upper limit terms. So 1 by 2 pi and first term becomes 2 pi square and this when I square it becomes 4 pi square by 2 and after cancelling this we get 2 pi square minus 2 pi square it is totally 0. Now coming to an again the formula of an is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x into cos nx dx. We are going to substitute f of x here. So 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi half into pi minus x into cos nx dx. Once again we can take this 1 by 2 constant outside the integration. So we have 1 by 2 pi integral 0 to 2 pi. The remaining terms are pi minus x is one algebraic term and a trigonometric term cos nx dx. Here we are going to use integration by parts. So this is algebraic and this is trigonometric. We take according to the order of i late the first comes is u, algebraic and trigonometric. So let's take u equal to pi minus x and v is another term cos nx. Now we are going to use the Bernoulli's formula which is integral u v d x equal to, we have two function u and v, so it is u v1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 minus u triple dash v4 like this. The terms keep going. So we already have with us u and v. So corresponding terms we have to find that is u dash first differentiation we get minus 1. Then u double dash becomes 0. From this v1 its first integration is sin nx by n and v2 is minus cos nx by n but already there is one n in the denominator so it is n square. Now we substitute this in the Bernoulli's formula 
u which is pi minus x into v1 which is sin nx by n minus u dash which is minus 1 so I can make this as plus 1 into v2 which is minus cos nx by n square. So we finished the integration outside there is 1 by 2 pi and we have a limit 0 to 2 pi. Now coming to the substitution of the upper limit we have to substitute here 2 pi. So already there is a pi so pi minus 2 pi is minus pi. Then here I have to substitute 2 pi. So sin n into 2 pi by n and again here it is minus cos n into 2 pi by n square and when I substitute lower limit let's take this as a separate bracket for upper limit minus when I put the lower limit 0 here we left with only pi then sin n into 0 by n and here it is minus cos n into 0 by n square. After this we are going to substitute the values. So sin n 2 pi so sin multiples of 2 pi is always 0. So the first term is fully 0. Cos 2 pi is always 1 but there is a minus sign so minus 1 by n square. So this is the upper limit part and sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1 so minus 1 by n square. So totally here we have 1 by 2 pi outside and this is minus 1 by n square and this is plus 1 by n square. These gets cancelled so 1 by 2 pi into 0 becomes 0. Now coming to the next part we have to find bn whose formula is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x into sin nx dx and now let's replace f of x which is 1 by 2 into pi minus x into sin nx dx. Once again u is pi minus x and v is sin nx. From this we have to find derivative of u which is u dash minus 1 and u double dash is 0. This on integration we get minus cos nx by n and again one more time when we integrate minus sin nx by n square. Now applying Bernoulli's integration formula first term is u v1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 minus so on. So outside we have 1 by pi u is pi minus x v1 is minus cos nx by n minus u dash is minus 1 so we can make this as plus and v2 is minus sin nx by n square and we have to substitute the limit 0 to 2 pi. Now coming back to the substitution when I use upper limit 2 pi this becomes minus pi pi minus 2 pi is minus pi and into let's take a separate bracket minus cos n 2 pi by n and minus sin n 2 pi by n square. Similarly when I put the lower limit it is pi minus 0 into minus cos n into 0 by n then minus sin n into 0 by n square. Now after substitution let's simplify further outside there is 1 by pi and cos n 2 pi is always 1 and this minus gets cancelled so pi into 1 by n 
and sin n times of 2 pi is always 0. So this becomes 0. This is the upper limit part. And coming to the lower limit, we have pi into cos 0 is 1. And there is a minus sign, so minus 1 by n. And sin 0 is 0. So minus 0. Now for the simplification, finally we get 1 by pi. This is pi by n. And these two minus become plus. So plus pi by n. So by adding this, we get 1 by pi into 2 pi by n. And we can cancel these two. So finally, we get b n as 2 by n. But in the beginning, there is a 1 by 2. So we could have taken it outside here and keep writing it outside as 1 by 2 pi. And finally, we get these two gets cancelled and b n becomes 1 by n. So now we are going to substitute this in the Fourier series expansion a0 by 2, a0 is 0, so 0 by 2 plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n, that is also we got as 0, a n cos n x plus sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity b n which is 1 by n into sin n x. So finally, we left with only one term that is sigma n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n sin nx. So we got the first part and we should also prove this one that is 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 dot 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 equal to pi by 4. So for that, I have to substitute the value of x. The value of x, actually f of x is 1 by 2 into pi minus x, which is equal to sigma n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n sin nx. So now when x is pi by 2, so the left hand side half into pi minus pi by 2 and here we are going to expand this but before that let's substitute x as pi by 2 even here. So this is n is equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n sin n pi by 2. So this by taking LCM pi minus pi by 2 is pi by 2. So 1 by 2 into pi by 2 which is pi by 4 and here when I expand I have to substitute n as 1. So 1 by 1 sin pi by 2 plus n as 2 1 by 2 sin 2 pi by 2. Then n as 3 1 by 3 sin 3 pi by 2 plus 1 by 4 sin 4 pi by 2 plus 1 by 5 sin 5 pi by 2 in the same way plus 1 by 6 sin 6 pi by 2 plus 1 by 7 sin 7 pi by 2. I have taken till 7 terms because we have till 1 by 7 terms. So I have written lot of terms then plus dot dot dot. Now left hand side is pi by 4 sin pi by 2 is 1. So this is 1. So we can keep that as 1 here. And after cancelling this sin pi is 0. In the same way this is sin 2 pi this is 0. In the same way sin 3 pi this is 0. So we can leave those terms. And coming to this, sin 3 pi by 2 is minus 1. So plus 1 by 3 into minus 1. Then sin 5 pi by 2, that becomes 1. And again, 7 pi by 2 becomes minus 1. So the lower classes, we might have studied in which quadrant it is positive or negative. So this is 0, 
pi by 2 pi 3 pi by 2 so when it is 3 pi by 2 so it coming here and here this is all are positive sin and its reciprocal positive tan and its reciprocal positive cos and its reciprocal positive so here it is negative when sin comes sin 3 pi by 2 it is 1 but it is negative here because it is in, in the middle of third and the fourth quadrant in the same way 3 pi by 2 4 pi by 2 then 5 pi by 2 will be here so it is positive again 6 pi by 2 7 pi by 2 will be here so again negative so in the same way it goes plus and minus alternatively so if this basic is not clear we can again go back to this quadrant and we can find out then finally this becomes pi by 4 on the left hand side and this is 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 plus dot 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 hence the term what they told us to deduce or prove we got it so this is 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 plus dot 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 which is pi by 4 so from the question the two part one is the Fourier expansion and another is the deduce so we got the both